In this short video, I'm going to show you how to add in multiple images into a new display. I've created a file new. I made it the size that I wanted, size and resolution that I wanted. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my move tool with all of these images open um, to this particular file. And I'm just as you can see, I'm just clicking with my move tool, dragging it out here. I can show you how to resize these momentarily. And then if I find this is the one that I want in the end, move it to my untitled, and there we go. All of these are now different layers. If I want to decide to um, resize any of them, just making sure that that is selected, and I can choose Command-T and that will allow me to resize. If you have auto select on, it will allow you to click on it and then choose it. So Command T, resize from the corner always. You can always crop this later too. Do you want these a little closer together? Command T, resize. Try to get them in the order that you want. I have a little extra space here, so I can show you in a moment how to crop that or change that up. To add a little extra to your work, um, if you don't like the white background, um, you know, maybe you want to choose a color that complements your work or contrasts it, you would find the paint bucket tool. You can just click on your color swatch and you could pick a color, maybe a more uh, neutral sort of gray. Um, and you can just make sure that you're selected on background and then click, click that area and you can create, you know, a different, more solid color background. If you wanted to pick a particular color, um, you know, from your image, I would use like a paint swatch tool and then that would pick up this particular color. Maybe I want this like green color here and then I would go um, back to my paint bucket and add that there. Um, the other nice added effects you can do to kind of bring things out um, is, for example, you could have this is layer one selected, and I can go to my effects, and I could, you know, use an outer glow, or I could add a stroke, which would basically add like an outline um, around this particular layer, and maybe I could pick very light gray or something of that nature and um, create this to be a little bit thicker. Oh, maybe I want to go lighter. And then what that does is it creates, you know, kind of this outline to kind of highlight your image. And now that I've gone ahead and added that stroke to all of my images, the same stroke, the same weight, um, I can even, you know, keep resizing if I want to get kind of similar sizes. Um, I could go ahead and use my crop tool to kind of just bring that in a little bit. And it creates more of a finished looking product. I've chosen a background that complements this. I've chosen a stroke to kind of get that to stand out. Um, and this kind of shows my progression. So. Again, this is working with um, creating your triptych or multi-panel image, um, adding some different effects around the edges to kind of give it that final touch. And don't forget to save a copy and save it as a JPEG. Save. All right.